If you're watching this video and you want to move your WhatsApp chats from Android to your iPhone without paying anything, I'm going to help you achieve that in this video. Make sure you don't skip this video into parts because you might miss some things. And if you're attempting this, I would always recommend you to watch this video first completely and then second time you follow and do it because that's going to help you know what's going to come for you. There are some things that are required which are mentioned in the description. But nevertheless, you just need three basic things, Windows laptop, your iPhone and the Android phone, which already has your WhatsApp installed in it. Without wasting any time, let's start this video. For the first part, click on WhatsApp, open it up and then click here, go to settings, go to chats and in here, click on chat backup and make sure that your Google Drive settings backup to drive is selected to never and once you have selected that click on backup what this will do is create a local backup on your phone and you can see the size of this backup and the time at which it was created and if you want to include the videos in this backup you can always click on include videos for me the videos are not really required or necessary so i would not do that once you have done that make sure you connect your phone with a usb cable with your pc and go for the second step now for the next step what you need to do is go to your settings of your phone and make sure your developer option is enabled if you don't know how to do that move to about phone double tap or like five times or seven times to build number it will enable the developers option go in there and make sure that your usb debugging is enabled this step is really important for you to proceed and when this is enabled there would be an option to revoke usb debugging authorizations click on that so that it does not create any other issues. So all the authorization requests that's going to come from your PC right now after this method would go in very quickly and then you can accept it to go further on. But once you have done this, you can leave your phone like this connected to your PC and open the application on your PC. Now, there might be some things. Now, as you can see, it says allow USB debugging. Click on always and click on allow. And on the application, click on OK and click on retry. When you click on retry, you will be seeing that a pop-up will appear on your phone and for your phone, click on allow so that it can read all the backup and on your PC, you will see that this will say getting Android information. But once you have done that, you will be seeing a software popping up with all your WhatsApp chat under your phone's model over here. So when you right click on it, you can see it says backup messages, extract messages, attachments, export, some options are over here. What you need to do is click on your device over here like this and then click on backup messages and give it a name. Click on OK and it's going to back up all that messages that is in your phone right now to your PC. So that's going to be a local backup because then we can disconnect your phone from the PC and we might still have all the chats left in your system. This backup is not going to be in the servers of this application. So make sure you are not worried about that. And on your phone moving here, you will be seeing some options. You don't have to click on any of these options. Whatever is going to be there on your PC, that's the only thing that you need to do. Now, once you have done that, once you have created the local backup, you can go ahead and remove your phone from the equation. So your Android phone can go away. Now for the next step, what you need to do is open WhatsApp on your iPhone and log in with that phone number which you want the backup from. So basically the same phone number that was there on your Android. Now you want to log in to the WhatsApp on your iPhone with the same number. So let me quickly go ahead and do that while you also make sure to do that. Now, once you log in, you will be seeing something like this restore from iCloud, but there would not be any data into it. So don't be afraid here because you can click on skip backup, skip the restore. And once you click there, you will be ended up in a chat like this. So you would not see any chat on your iPhone. Don't be scared because you have literally backed up everything on your PC. So it's going to be fine. Once you have done that, what you need to do is take your USB connector of your iPhone and connect it with your PC. Now for the next step, Make sure your phone is unlocked and connected to your PC. And if this pop-up comes, click on allow because you need your PC to be trusting your iPhone and your iPhone to be trusting your PC. That's called a secure connection. Once that is there, launch iTunes on your PC. And once you launch that, it might give you a pop-up whether to trust your PC on your iPhone or not. If that does give you a pop-up, click on trust. 
and it's gonna easily get detected in your iTunes. And once you have that, click on this mobile icon over here and you'll be launched to this place and you should be looking at the backups option over here in the PC. But for now, it's automatically syncing it. So it's already creating a backup. So I just have to wait here. And even if in case that is happening for you, you just have to wait there as well. But the billion dollar thing that you need to pay attention to is that backup that's happening is not happening in iCloud, but you have to select this computer. So all the backup of your iPhone that's going to be created would be put inside your computer and not on iCloud. So make sure this is selected as this computer and then you can click on backup. Now, once you click on there, it's going to create this sort of backup because it's automatically doing it for my iPhone, but you have to do it manually. So once you do that, like once you click on this backup now button, it will create the backup of your iPhone. I have already done it, so I don't really need it. But once the backup is completed, make sure you do not click on encrypt. And once you do that, you will see that the latest backup of your iPhone is created with the date and time which is visible over here. And once this is done, you are good to go. And now open the software again. Once you open this software, make sure your phone is unlocked because your phone might have trust issues recognizing this software and you will see it's showing here. Click on allow. Once you allow this, this would make sure that the things are restored and backed up efficiently. What you need to do next is right click on the local backup that we created last time and click on export messages to iTunes backup. Once you do that, it will show you all the backups that are present of your iPhone on your PC. Make sure you click on the latest one that you created just right now and click on load and you will see that it's loading these messages to your iPhone's backup. You just have to wait over here. Be patient. It depends upon how much messages you have on your WhatsApp that this time will take place. Like if it is less, then obviously it will take less time. And if there are less media and the images, it's going to take less time. But if it is more then it's going to take obviously more time. So once it says successfully transferred, click on OK and you are good to go. What you need to do next is easy. Close this application, launch iTunes again and make sure your iPhone is unlocked to prevent any sort of like unauthorized detection. So this always helps in recognizing your phone on your PC. iTunes. Once this opens up, don't encrypt. Click on this phone icon again, make this big. Oh, okay. It's automatically doing a backup again. Once this is there, click on restore backup. And it says that you need to disable find my iPhone. So make sure you do that. So move to your iPhone, go to your settings and search for find my iPhone. Find my iPhone is turned on. So turn it off. Once your find my iPhone is turned off, Click on OK and then click on Restore Backup. Once you do that, it's going to show you a list of all those backups that are present. Make sure you click on the latest one which you just dumped your WhatsApp into and click on Restore. It's going to take some time for you to restore everything that was there on your iPhone back to your iPhone. You just have to be patient over here as well. Once the backup has been restored, you will have a pop-up saying the settings of your iPhone has been restored and you do not have to remove this cable as of yet. Let it be there. Your phone's going to automatically restart and it might take some time depending upon how many applications you had during the time you backed up everything. So just wait and be patient over here. You will have a screen like this. Swipe up to upgrade. Once your passcode is there, you will have this Apple logo over here, which will have this progress bar. You have to wait. It's going to quickly increase. This is going to take like not much time, less than a minute, I think. And then it will disappear. And then you will have this hello icon of iOS 15. You will have this notification of restore completed. Continue. Updating iCloud settings. and swipe up and there you have it all the applications right here 
would be re-downloading it. So you can click on WhatsApp and click on prioritize the download. So what it's going to do, it's going to make WhatsApp get downloaded the very next time that your application, which was already in the queue, gets downloaded. Once you have WhatsApp downloaded here, click on open and you will see all the WhatsApp chats already here. But it's going to say that it's no longer there because you need to re-login into it. Don't be afraid because once you re-log in, all those chats will appear. And once you re-log in, you will be able to see every single chat over here. Like all the chats that you officially had will pop up over here. And that's what was required, right? That's what you needed. And now once you have this, you can also click on any of the chats and you will be able to see everything that the person communicated so all the media and everything which you communicated will be there in your iphone right now and that's what you needed so with that i hope this method might have worked for you if in case it did i at least owe you this much that you can like this video click on subscribe and share this video with everyone that recently bought an iphone it's going to help me grow and it got all your chats but if in case this method didn't really work for you let me know in the comment section below which phone you have and what is the point that you missed out something so that I can reach out to you and help you out over there. But if in case you are still not satisfied, you can leave your dislike over this video and I don't have any issues. But if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be catching you guys next week with really interesting video next week. Catch you guys later and take care.